Does the host keep uh, kicking? Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And yeah, good night, sir. Uh, spread the word, spread the word. Yeah, I would love to have more viewers, but uh, I think a lot of it has to do with I don't really have a slight schedule for myself, and I don't think people know I'm streaming. Um, but I always appreciate the, the game I always appreciate when people uh, spread the word. I guess so. Thank you. Good night, sir. Okay, so this is just a Michi 3v3 lobby that I just joined. I don't really play much Michi, so this will be fun. But uh, if you're wondering what Michi is, is it's this map where there's like a, a river of trees that just divides the two teams, which basically prevents rushing. Yeah, just a random 3v3 Michi lobby that I joined. Map size is 8, so it'll be a little bigger. I guess that's better for trade purposes, and no one can rush anyway, so what's the point? And. Okay, there's some more sheep. Er, turkeys. Cool, I got Koreans. Enemy team has Saracens, Turks. Okay. Gonna need to do a little force drop off action, I think. So I can keep that villager production up. Weird to see turkeys on a desert map. <laughs> Hello, sir. Acebo. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. If you are watching this live, I very much appreciate it. And if you're not, I appreciate it anyway. I think I'm gonna. Oh, 49 food, my arch nemesis. We meet again. Put down a house, get some boar. Yes. Typically, like to get loom before I hunt the boar, um, even though it's better if you can wait if you can, uh, just because. Typically, is some latency in these online matches, and I don't want to take any risks. Losing villager is bad. It's actually, really not worth it if you lose a villager for it. But yeah, Jesus, fast is fast. The 2.5 update for uh, AV2 came out really recently, for AV2 HD, and it makes the UI update much faster, uh, and just makes the game a lot nicer in general, I love it. So, you may have noticed that's why the villager progress bar fills up so fast, it's because of that. Hello, Matt the Cat, thank you for tuning in. Put down another house, I think. And my other boar is over here. I have three! Okay. That's really convenient, actually. 
Oh, if I was Mongols, this would be ridiculous. Oh, yeah, and I've got all these extra resources, too. This is, uh, it's quite funny. I think this boar lure might be just a teensy bit early, but I guess I can hunt several at once because... Screw the rules, I have extra resources. Yeah, so if I get enough villagers on food here, I can probably hunt all those boars at the same time. And this is going to make for a disgustingly fast castle. Are there no hills in this map? Is that the thing? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to get that uh, right now. Start mining some stone. I'm going to go stone instead of gold. Um just because it would be nice to get some stone mining right off the bat so I can really go for a heavy boom. Oh, you bastard. Come on, little boar. You're a little boar. You're a boy. You're a boy. Who's a good boar? You are. You are. Come to daddy. No! 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 Yes. Yes. Not getting away this time. I went to college. Okay. Do I have deer as well? Are those mine? I guess those are. That's ridiculous. I want eight so I can hunt two clumps of deer at once, I think. Really, really ridiculous. Now, what I might do is I'm gonna pull off one of these villagers, get another house down. Don't want any housing accidents. Okay, so we're gonna hunt in groups of four. I'm sure my villagers will screw that up anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. Basically, just I don't have much of a choice, right? Because there's this river of trees, so what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm just gonna boom really heavily. I'm gonna get an incredibly strong economy, try and reach imperial age by about 30 minutes, and barrel down through the trees with some siege onagers and these typical Korean sort of death ball type thing. Should be quite scary. And hopefully I can end it right about then. And yeah, if you have issues uh, catching me streaming, uh, the Twitter and Facebook thing should help with that. In the future I will give pretty, pretty good amount of, of uh, warning before I start streaming, so I'll give like a day's notice on the Facebook and Twitter so that you guys can make sure to be on time for that. Alright, so I'm going to advance right about now. I'm going to have a little bit uh, later feudal than I normally would, because uh, I want to try and go for a little bit of a quicker quicker Imperial Age and have a really, really strong Castle Age. Yeah, I'm going to put out a million Town Centers as soon as I advance. First thing I do in the Feudal Age, uh, is I'm just going to spend as basically as little time in the Feudal Age as I possibly can. This is good. Look at all this, all this income. Yeah, I'm trying to stockpile a lot of wood right now, so that I can uh, get out that blacksmith market and still have plenty of wood left over for some town center action in the Castle Age. I want to basically, you know, get my entire economy sorted out as soon as I can. And I'm choosing to do a little bit of a slower feudal age to really, really amplify uh, the strength in the castle age that I'm going to have. I'm going to pull these villagers off just a little bit early. And... Yeah, 
just for this. Market takes forever to build compared to the uh, uh, markets. I'm going to start that a bit early. Alright, this is good. I'm going to advance basically as soon as I can. Cancel that one villager and sell stone twice. Immediately advance. To maybe put one more on stone. Yeah, Alright, so you guys can hunt that last deer, and the rest of you can basically ignore gold. Now, there's no reason that I need cartography either, or really just any gold at all for quite a bit, so. Okay with this. I'm gonna get that horse collar thing like right now, um, because I'm gonna be putting a, I'm gonna be putting out a ton of farms as soon as I uh, get to the castle. And I do want a reasonable food income at this point, just to sustain that villager villager production. So I'm going to pop out three TCs as soon as I advance, I think. Probably in my best interest to place them away from the frontish area. This is my allies' base. And this is my other allies' base. Okay. So I'll put ATC all the way over here. We get Wheelbarrow immediately and Zibosa. This will also be a town center. It will be my gold town center. And I think I'll put another one right over here. That's a good location for it. Alright, cool. So my economy is basically set right now, and I've got a lot of extra housing bedroom for it, so this will be good. And I'm saving my wood for town centers really right now. If you notice, I build my town centers with uh, tons of extra villagers, and that's so that it uh, doesn't take so bloody long to build. I'll put another town center over here too. Yeah, and I can use the market to go buy a bit of food and wood and whatever I need with these gold miners. So. Yeah, this uh, these trees are just going to end up being the battlefield type thing, so I'm not really going to want to put any town centers in that sea of trees unless I have to. Could be potentially, potentially bad. I think I, I think I can actually put down another TC. So this is going to be a strong boom. Yeah, so I can use those gold miners to go buy me some extra resources, and now it's time for Farm City. Farming Simulator! <laughs> yeah, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Aha! To the market. Out of food no longer. I guess I'll build that market right now since he wants it so badly.
buy another 100 food. So I can sustain this villager production. Basically, I just spawn the villagers on wood so that they're not idle when they come out, and I just move them on the food as I need them. Oh, bloody hell. Stop being idle, I command you. is unmanned. Yes. This one also. Gonna buy a hundred more food. start working on that cartography mumbo jumbo. Oh, actually I can hold off a bit on that. But I do think I want to get my trade going a little early, just because Michi is really a late game oriented map. Basically, Michi is a test of how effective can you, like how good are you at booming really? It tests your eco management and your speed. Very uh, noob friendly map though. Just because it's really... you can't get rushed at all on this. And you've got lots of extra resources and whatnot. So it's a pretty friendly map. But of course, if you play against someone really good on Michi, it's terrifying. It's a test of how fast can you build up and how efficient can you be. I have to be careful not to uh, get stuck in too many farms right now. Because my sort of endgame eco is really not going to have any farms in it. Because I'm not really going to be making too many food costing units. Maybe some champions or halberdiers for the upfront meat shield. The civs we're dealing with are the Britons, Saracens, and Turks. So definitely no champions. I got a lot of hand cannon here potential. And a lot of archers. So... Trash units are definitely going to be skirmishers. Even less reason to invest heavily in the food. Won't need much. Then I can basically just use the market to advance ASAP. I'm just going to leave that. Whoa. It's kind of uh, late castle age. Should be fine though. He's in no danger at the moment. And yeah, I can use the market to basically solve any of my advancement issues. Because I don't I really don't want to get stuck in too many too many farms. It's not necessary. And yeah, I think I want another town center over there so I can clear away a bit of these trees. Yeah, I want to really start advancing about now. Hit my goal of a uh, hundred villagers by thirty minutes, so this is good. My entire eco is not completely set though, but that's because it's three hundred pops. So that's kind of tricky. All right, I dig it. It's gonna some of that trade caravan nonsense. I need more wood. I'm gonna need a lot of wood, because uh, my onagers and war wagons and all those shenanigans. Gonna want this castle here to protect those farmers. And yeah, I've got enough resources to advance, so now it's just a matter of time. I'm 
been advanced at this town center because I don't foresee using it anytime soon. Let me get some of that treadmill crane. We got a lot of building to do. Construction time. And I've got a lot of trade carts I need to get out. for this. Imperial Age is going to be a bit late, but it's okay. This is going to be one strong, strong Imperial Age. I'm going to get chemistry too. I think I'm going to get some hand cannons. Actually, no. I don't get any hand cannons. I'm going to go probably throw some skirms into my death ball. Hard to say. I'm gonna wanna get some outposts out. Pretty soon. I'm gonna put some outposts along the edge of the tree line so that I can get a bit of vision uh, so I know when and where they're chopping. Because they're gonna wanna chop through as well. And yeah, that's what I meant when I said I'm gonna need a lot of wood. Gonna need a lot of more wood before this. I can start uh, removing farmers as soon as I get my Siege Onager upgrade, but that's an expensive upgrade, so... So let's get that Onager upgrade right now. And Siege Engineers is a really important one not to forget. The extra one range can really help you win those trades with your Mangonels. When you're fighting Mangonel on Mangonel action. Apparently I still need more Lumberjacks. I totally believe that. Some of that Bodkin mumbo jumbo. Got a bunch of ranges over here, that's good. You don't need a lot of skirms. I'm well, gonna put a lot of ranges over here. I wanna space them apart just a little bit so you guys don't get clumped. And I'm gonna wanna outpost up here. So I know he's coming. How's that Onager upgrade doing? It's done. So now I just need to get a bit more food and see Onager time. Fourteen fifty. Come on. Could have bought some at the market in this time, but I'm so close that. Wait a minute, that's a trap. I don't need more food. You normally, I look at my uh, resources and I'm like, man, I'm low on food. I, I need more farms. Cause you gotta adjust your economy to meet your needs, and then I'm like, wait, never mind, I'm the Koreans. And unless I'm massing champs, which is totally a good option, it is a good option. I have to go champs, but I'm not this game. Because I don't think it's likely that they're gonna be making units that my champs are good against. Get some of that thumb ring action. Am I ready to cut? Nope. I'm gonna cut through here, I think. My twos. My ones. I see Johnny upgrade coming along. 
Almost there. I got the... Aha! Thank you, Outpost. And just because I don't... I don't trust things... I'm gonna put this delicious, delicious stone wall... Right here, to prevent him from uh, cutting in a way that I'm uncomfortable with. And my university is right here. Let's get some of that ballistics, actually. Basically, uh, if, you, if they can cut their way to our trade, that's a problem, and these trees don't really act as a wall anymore, so I've got this stone wall to provide me a little extra work. Really, I just don't want them to be able to run in raiding cavalry in there. Without me knowing. Like, I, uh, if they gave me time to react, I'd appreciate it. So. So we're gonna cut through this now. I'm gonna get chemistry right now. I've got all these skirms here, and these to go with my onagers. Seems a little excessive to anti archer on anti archer, but I expect a lot of hand cannon ears. Um, and a lot of archers. Difficult to say what the Saracens guy will go for. He might have some camels in there, which means that it's probably a good idea to get some champs and halbs out. However, uh, I think hand cannoneers can also do just fine. My stone miners don't exist, actually. Baby steps. 